So here we are in January 2024 and we thought we'd take a look back at uh, an area we've actually uh, done a few videos on before. So it's been an area where in 2023 there was quite a lot of exciting activity. So looking back at 2023, question is, where were the two largest deep water discoveries? Well, clues in the title of course, it's Indonesia. Now this graph is taken from Woodmac and uh, it's their estimate of the recoverable resource. Now uh, that could be oil, gas or condensate and it's all been sort of normalised in millions of barrels of oil equivalent. And you can see on the left here the two from uh, Indonesia, Gang North and Lairan. Um, we also cover in our videos uh, the Guyana Suriname area and of course uh, Fangtooth, Lancetfish and Way featured here. And uh, we continue to look out for the region of uh, offshore Namibia, the Orange Basin, with the Yonka and the Sedi Wells. Gulf of Mexico, you can see, uh, still making discoveries out there. But uh, in 2023, they were thought to be uh, somewhat smaller than the other finds. So were you surprised? Now, this is deep water. And our definition within Trove, anything down to 1,000 feet is shallow to 5,000 feet deep water. And below uh, or deeper than 5,000 feet is ultra deep water. So to set the scene for where these are, we've got a map here from Mapstand and just pointing out some of the areas in the region. And you can see this is the approximate boundary of Indonesia. And we're showing that Genk North here is located in the Kutai Basin in Makassar Strait, east of Kalimantan. And Lairan, well, that's located in the South Andaman 2 block, which is uh, north of Sumatra in the Andaman Sea area. Here's a little bit more geography for those who are interested, and uh, there's Genk North, and there's Lyran, and you can kind of pause the video and see where they are relative to everything else. The location is very approximate. Looking at Gang North, it was a discovery made by e and I back in October 2023, and this map here from S&P Global, it shows the location of this and other discoveries in the area. Now, the Gang North well went to a total depth of just over five kilometers in a water depth of 2,000 meters. So this is ultra deep water. It found a 50 meter gas column in Miocene sandstones. Now, estimates are that uh, there could be over five trillion cubic feet of gas in place and about 400 million barrels of condensate. Now, not all of that will ultimately be reserves, but that's the, uh, the resource size. Now, the potential to unlock stranded discoveries in the region, such as Gaim, Gula, and uh, Rangas, in the process, uh, Rangas in the process of being acquired by E&I, certainly a big find should help get to a critical mass in the area. The operator E&I, as mentioned, and partners Neptune and Agra Energy. It was drilled with the West Capella drill ship, and uh, we're going to see a little more of that in just a while. Now, we know that the onshore Bontang LNG plant, um, that facility is currently underutilized, so there is room for more gas to be uh, brought to that facility. So uh, here's the drill ship on Gang North, and after that, there we go, on its way to Lyran. So uh, looking at the uh, Lyran discovery, again with the West Capella drill ship, Discovered gas back in uh, December 2023 in a water depth, uh, deep water well, 1,207 metres. Now it's thought to be of the order of 6 trillion cubic feet of gas initially in place. The well flowed uh, 30 million standard cubic feet of gas a day, so a great flow rate. The uh, 230 metre gas column is recorded in Oligocene Sands. Now this is the South Andaman licence, so it's the first of a, a four well campaign targeting this uh, same oligocene play, um, same play that was found in the uh, 2022 Harbour Energy Discovery at Timpan. Now we've done a, a video on that and uh, recommend if you haven't seen it, uh, it explains a lot more about the regional geology and just how this was a kind of a play opener for the region. Here's a map here from GeoExpro. I think it's an adventures map, but uh, here's the location of Lyran. The operator of the license is uh, Mubadala and Harbour have a 20% equity by the Premier Oil Andaman subsidiary. Now the nearby onshore Aaron LNG facility 
on Sumatra. Well, that's uh, I think is actually currently used ju just as a, a terminal, but uh, with a significant amount of gas being found in this region, with Timpan, Lyran, and perhaps more to come, it could be that uh, there's a case to re-establish an LNG liquefaction plant at Aran. Now, if you're interested in uh, the West Capella, it's a, it's a sea drill rig, a sixth generation ultra deep water drill ship. It had a lot of activity offshore West Africa. We've done quite a number of videos just looking at these uh, drill ships, the history of uh, drilling rigs, but uh, also many of the deep water. And we do recommend uh, this video here, the deep water champion. That was, uh, that really explains all the different parts of a, a drill ship and how they work and how they drill wells. So next drilling for Indonesia, well, Gaia One, this well highlighted on the map here, it's currently drilling, it's in the ultra deep water, it's in the Andaman 2 block. It's planned to go to a total vertical depth of 11,730 feet and targeting the uh, the tertiary, I think Oligocene Bampo uh, sandstone reservoir. Now, it is a, a big prospect, about 1.25 trillion cubic feet of gas in place, of which probably around about uh, 720 BCF of prospective resource. Again, it's the West Capella, busy in this area. And in this block, Harbour Energy operate with partners BP and Mubadala. Now, next up after the Gaio 1 well, uh, the plan is to go to Halwa 1 and drill a well there and move on to appraise the Timpan 1 discovery with the Timpan 2, both targeting Oligocene and Miocene targets. So here is the stratigraphy here, and there's the Bampo sands highlighted. They're in the Oligocene, kind of isolated sands within a predominantly shale-prone system. Here is our entry for Timpan 1. This is from our Trove database, and we have sort of information like this on every field and discovery in the region. In fact, in the world, get in touch. You need to have this at your fingertips. So Timpan 1, it's an Oligocene play opener. It was TD, that's total depth of 13,818 feet. It encountered a high net to gross fine grain sandstone in the uh, Oligocene, and within that, there was a 119 meter gas column, low permeability of the order of 1 to 10 millidarcies, but okay for, for gas and gas condensate. The API gravity of the condensate was measured as 58 degrees, and uh, it's rumored or reported. The contingent resources, because this has been discovered now, is of the order of 1.4 to 1.5 TCF. All of this information you can find in Trove. Other 2023 news? Well, if we have a look at the Tuna prospect, Tuna is located quite close to the boundary of Indonesia, Vietnam and Malaysia here, the northern limit of Indonesia. Now, we've done uh, videos in this area. We did one on the granite reservoirs that Baco in Vietnam. Uh, we also did one on the biggest undeveloped gas field in the region, which, of course, is the East Natuna gas discovery. Now, here's where the Tuna discovery is located, just right uh, near the boundaries, as, as stated. And we can see it's not too far away from Chim Sao uh, gas export, the NCS pipeline here, which goes to uh, Vung Tao, uh, just on the mouth of the Mekong River. Discovered in 2014, uh, production expected to start in uh, 2026. Now, the Indonesian government this month uh, actually approved the $3 billion development plan. Expected recoverable resources, around about uh, 520 BCF of gas and 87 million barrels of condensate. Uh, production expected to peak in 2027 at around about 130 million standard cubic feet of gas per day. Now, ZN Asia acquired the stake in the block, this from the uh, the Russian parent company, in October 2023. The plan, as I said, is that gas will flow to Vietnam. Condensate uh, will go via FPSO to market. Now, Harbour operate this uh, with 50% interest. In ZN Asia, uh, they have the other 50%. Moving on, we'll uh, have a look at uh, Abadi, which is located in the Masela block in uh, offshore Samlaki, right down in the south, just over to the east of uh, Timor-Leste. So 
here's a look at the project. This diagram here showing the development subsea wells tying back to an FPSO and perhaps with a, a shuttle tanker for liquids, but uh, the gas being exported onshore to the OLNG plant. Now, it supposedly a, a giant gas discovery, over 10 trillion cubic feet of gas has been found. It was made in 2000 by Inpex, but it hasn't progressed to date. And it looks like only recently there's been a, an impetus to uh, move this project forward now. Shell, well, they sold a stake, uh, their 35% back in July 2023. Now, this was uh, really kind of a strategic thing. Shell, I think, have lots of places to invest, and they chose other areas. Now, the Plan of Development, or POD, was approved back in December 2023, and it includes a carbon capture and storage future potential facility. Now, the project's annual LNG production volume is expected to reach 9.5 million tonnes. Now, we did a calculation and we came up with around about 1.2 billion cubic feet of gas per day. Now, um, that's the statement that uh, it was a sort of strategic decision from a, a Shell spokesperson. And uh, the current partnership, well, Impex operate with 65% with Pertamina and Petronas as partners. Now, also in the area, we uh, look at Sunrise and Troubadour. Now, um, they are located, again, in this uh, same region here, um, just on the border of Indonesia. Now, uh, Sunrise and Troubadour together, they're known as the Greater Sunrise, discovered a long time ago, back in 1974, so that's 50 years ago. Now, it hasn't moved forward in all that time, despite the fact that... Uh, Contingent resources are estimated to be 5 TCF of gas and 226 million barrels of condensate. These were found in an 80 metre thick Middle Jurassic clastic reservoir. Now the region is sort of jointly managed, as you can see on the map there, between Timor-Leste and Australia. And depending on where the ultimate development flows the gas to, whether it's to Australia or to Timor-Leste, there are going to be different equities. I'll lead you to read the details there. So uh, an interesting one. This is our entry from Trove. And you can see, having Trove, you can just pick up all this information, get seismic lines, you can get reservoir logs, maps, and lots and lots of information about these assets and what they consist of and the geology of them, etc. So where does Indonesia sit on the global stage? Well, if we have a look at world oil production, and you can see there's uh, in green is the uh, total for Asia Pacific. If we break that down, you can see Indonesia is this band. And further, if we look at it alone, we can see that Indonesia, it got up to about 1.6 million barrels of oil per day, but really has been on a steady decline from around about the early 90s. And the picture for uh, this global gas demand, and you can see this is the total for uh, Asia-Pacific region here. And if we break that down, you can see Indonesia is this band in red. And further, if we look at it alone, we can see that uh, it went up to around about 8 billion cubic feet of gas per day uh, at its maximum back in around about uh, 2010, 2011. But since then, there's again, there's been a steady decline to a current um, level of around about 6 billion cubic feet of gas per day. Now, the Indonesian government are targeting to double that. And uh, on this graph here, you'll see that's what it looks like if we get to 2030 and it's doing 12 BCF of gas a day. That's going to be some growth in quite a short period of time. Now, you know, we do know that there are opportunities both in the Andaman Sea and the Makassar Strait, which could help to actually deliver this volume. But what have we learned? Well, Indonesia boasts the two largest deep water discoveries of 2023, and there's going to be a continued exploration program drilling throughout 2024, and we'll keep you updated with the results of that. Now, targeting to uh, double its gas production by 2030, there's a long way to go. There have been some major uh, undeveloped gas discoveries, some have been around as long as 50 years, as you heard, some very, very recent discoveries, and they're all going to be progressed, and hopefully quickly. Tuna and Abadi will contribute 1.3 billion cubic feet of gas a day, 
So there's still about uh, 4.7 left to be found. So uh, keep up to date, keep coming back, and you'll see all the developments. But better yet, if you get the Trove database, you'll have all this knowledge at your fingertips. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to ring the bell, you'll get notified when we bring our next video out. Thanks for watching. See you soon. The backdrop here, beautiful place. That's the uh, Montgo mountain, and uh, it's in uh, the east of Spain, south of Valencia.